Hi everybody. Okay, so tonight I'm gonna teach y'all how to make keto pizza. Usually I have um, cream cheese to go along with my cheddar cheese, but I'm out. So what you gonna do? Nothing. You don't need to do anything. You just it's okay. You don't need cream cheese. I just add it because I like it because it makes it kind of the bread a little bit more fluffier. But this way, I'm making thin crust tonight anyway, so it don't really matter. So here's what you're going to need for the crust only. Um, okay, so for the crust, you'll need um, almond flour, cheese, an egg, some Parmesan, and I get, this is optional, I mean, and the Parmesan's optional too, I just like it. I get this garlic spread from H-E-B, I love it, it's keto friendly, it's yummy, it's delicious, and I put it in my crust, because it makes my crust kind of garlicky, if I can talk tonight. Anywho, so that is it for the crust. So for mine, I like to just shred the cheese into a bowl, and then I add my flour, I add my egg, and I add my Parmesan, and I just stir it up until it's kind of like um, a crust consistency. But here is the tricky step, and this is what you really need the cream cheese for. Unfortunately, I don't have it tonight, so it's not going to have cream cheese. I'm just going to do it with cheese and hope for the best. But um, you put a little bit of uh, mozzarella and a little bit of cream cheese in the microwave just to kind of add the sticky. I forgot to let y'all know I have mozzarella cheese too. So it just kind of makes it all stick together. You want to have the mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese is important. That's what I meant, not cream cheese. The um, cream cheese is kind of important for the mozzarella to melt and just be like the consistency. I don't know. You want to mix those either way. And then you take this mixture and that mixture and you stir them all up. I'm about to show you so it's a little bit more easier for you to understand. So just to kind of show y'all, this is the shredded cheese and the Parmesan. Um... I wanted to show y'all like about how much I put in there because I don't really measure it. I just know that it's about three servings of the cheddar cheese and probably about three servings of the Parmesan. And now I'm going to add my almond flour. With almond flour, you want to be really careful because the thing about the almond flour is it is a little high up there. I mean, it's not too bad. It's only three grams of carbs, but I mean, it's not bad. You just want to be careful. Don't use too much whenever things are high on carbs because most of your carbs that you're wanting to eat have like one gram. But you also have to remember, this is an entire pizza. I'm not the only one going to be eating this pizza, okay? This is enough pizza probably about two or three people could eat it. Not, I mean, it's not a huge pizza, but it's definitely not a personal pan pizza, okay? So you got to keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so uh, you stir all this together and then you smooth it out onto a um, onto your parchment paper. Parchment paper, let me show y'all what it looks like. This is parchment paper. Whoops. <laughs> parchment paper. Or, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but you know what it is. You can read, hopefully. Um, and if you can't, just write it down and ask the store teller. Okay? Alright, anywho, so that's what you do. You're going to stir this up and then you're going to spread it all out onto that. What is it, my son? Yeah. We're trying to make an instructional video. I don't know how well we're doing. Alright, so now you've got your almond flour, your Parmesan, and your cheddar cheese. Now you're going to add your egg and you're going to stir that all in. Stir it up. Good job, Wayan. Hi, are you, are you helping? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so once you have all of it stirred up, it's gonna look like chunky, like macaroni and cheese type looking stuff. You're gonna put it on this parchment paper and then you're gonna stick it in the oven for I would say probably about a good mm, 10-15 minutes. You wanna keep an eye on it and just look at it, see what it's looking like, what is it doing in there. You don't want your cheese to burn, it'll taste probably gross. So, um, yeah, you just stick it in there and you let it cook for a minute because you want it to cook before you start putting your toppings on. So don't put your toppings on yet. Let it cook as a blank canvas first. You can flatten it out in a circle. You can flatten it out in a square. It don't matter. I find it easier to do it like in a rectangle just because that's the way it flattens out when you mush around. It really doesn't matter at all. I also wanted to add real quick, if you want to make yours a thicker crust instead of a thinner crust like what we're going to be doing today, all you have to do is add another egg. That's it. Okay, so while all that is in the oven, you're going to want to um, get your toppings prepared. I like veggies and pepperoni. So what I do for my veggies is I cut them up and I cut onion, red pepper, bell pepper, or whatever I feel like, whatever I got in my fridge and I feel like putting on there. That's what I put on there. And I cut them all up and I put them in this awesome little container that I got from H-A-B, my favorite place in the world. And I stick them in the microwave for like four minutes and let them steam. This is the thing. You just stick them in here, you cover it, you put it in the thing. Four minutes, they're steamed. And it comes out deliciously steamed. What you gonna throw in mine? I'm gonna make some pizza. You want pizza? Uh, are, they, are they wanting pizza? Yep. Well, whatever they want. All right, then. How long is this going to be? It's going to be a little while. A you, little while? Yeah. It's going to be right across from here? No, we're going to eat here. Huh? We'll eat it right here. You're going to take it? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go find my pillow. Okay. Okay, so we're going to pull it out of the oven and um, put our toppings on. Nice, yes. Looks great. Can you guys see this? Yummy. Pizza crust. Okay, so you got it out of the oven and you're going to add your topping. So I ended up finding this um, at HEB. I don't know if it's coming in clear for you guys. I found this at HEB and it is better than the Rayos that I had found. It The uh, nutrition facts look better. And so I'm going to try it out and see if it sits well with my stomach. And if it doesn't, then I will know that we got to stick with the Rays. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, because this came out kind of fluffy, I'm going to flatten it down some more. And um, then I'm going to add my toppings. Mm, this looks so good. <laughs> I'm so hungry, guys. I have been, I have not ate at all today, and it is already, that clock's wrong by an hour, so it's really 5.30. Um, and I haven't eaten anything but a hot dog, Winnie. I have been going, going, going with church and everything else, so it's just good to finally get to eat something. So anyway, so I flattened that all out now, and I'm going to add this on here, and then I'm going to add on um, some shredded cheese, some veggies, and some pepperoni. So you just want to add a little dibble of this. You do not want that much. Even that might have been too much. You just want enough to kind of cover your pizza. You don't want to go overboard. 
with the tomato sauce because it's really kind of a no-no because it has sugar, natural sugar in it. So you just kind of, okay, maybe a little more. Maybe a little more because we haven't ate today. <laughs> no, you're really not supposed to go overboard with this. The only reason I don't think it will bother me too much is because I don't have too much energy to be used today. I am really going to kind of just be hanging out the rest of today. So there's that. Now we're going to add our cheese and we are cheesy cheese head lovers in this family. So we're just going to pile that junk on. Yum, 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 yum. Love the cheese. Just get it all on there. Get it all on there. Yes, that's delicious. Okay, so we got that. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, it's time for pepperonis. Look at that. Look at those beautiful pepperonis. Yum, yums. I am seriously like heavy breathing right now because I am so hungry. This is going to be so good, guys. I love pizza. Who doesn't love their pizza? Tell me, do it, does any of y'all not like pizza? Because that would be interesting to find out that actually there is people out there in the world that don't. Do not like the pizza. I would say I love pizza. And so... The fact that pizza is full of carbs and nasty stuff, it is good to have a keto pizza that is like legit for me to eat. I'm really happy about it. So my son doesn't like veggies. What kid does, right? So I just take my veggies and I stick them on half of it. Like so. Look at that. Looks great, guys. Looks, this is looking fan, fan tiddly -yastic. I should have put the cheese on top. Crud. I guess I'll add more. I'm going to add more, a little more cheese at top just to kind of hold these veggies on. Because I am like, ugh, this looks divine, does it not? Does that not look good? So anyways, so you're going to pop it back in the oven for about 15 more minutes let this baby cook and then she's done eat and enjoy i'll show y'all what it looks like when it's all finished yes that's it yummy yummy all done Look at that. That is going to be delicious. Cannot wait to eat it. Cannot wait to eat ya. Cannot wait to eat ya. Cannot wait to eat ya. Waylon, the pizza's done. Are you excited? Yeah. Pizza. You want to see it? Huh. Careful, it's hot. Does it look good? Huh. Alright, go see the table. Time to eat. <laughs>